cut the blue wire. The schematic clearly says blue. That is teal, you idiot. If I cut the blue one, we turn into confetti. You always do this. You overthink everything just to spite me. Oh, really? Like when you fixed the dishwasher and flooded the kitchen? Stop bringing up the dishwasher. We have three seconds. Fine. I'm cutting the teal. But if we die, I told you so. See? I knew you could do it. We're a power couple. Don't touch me. You owe me a new dress. All right, so the clip you just saw, that was entirely generated by me using VO 3.1. And if you were paying attention, you probably noticed two things. One, it was a complete continuous 30 second scene. And two, the lip syncing was actually good. This is a big deal. If you've been playing around with video models like VO 3.1 or Sora 2, you know the pain. You're usually stuck generating these short bursts, maxing out at maybe eight to 15 seconds. And even when you do get a longer clip, the voices start drifting, the characters change faces, and the lip sync ends up looking like a bad dub from an 80s movie. So today, I'm going to fix that for you. I'm going to walk you through a complete workflow on how to take those short, glitchy clips and stitch them into a consistent narrative with consistent voices and perfect lip syncing. We're going to do this using a platform called Design AI. It's basically an all-in-one powerhouse that has the best image and video models out right now, plus a multi-character lip sync tool that is honestly a game changer. We are going from zero to a finished movie scene without jumping between five different websites. I've dropped the link to Design AI in the description so you can follow along. And just a heads up, if you are watching this right now, they are actually running a massive Thanksgiving deal. You can snag 50% off any plan using the promo code THANKS2025. Seriously, catch that discount while you can. They've also slashed the credit cost for their lip sync models, which is great because we're going to be using that feature heavily today. Let's dive into the workflow. Once you're logged into the dashboard, go ahead and hit create a new project. You'll see the usual suspects here like storyboard generation or text to image, but we want to click on AI video. This opens up our model selection. You'll see a list of the heavy hitters, but for this tutorial, I'm choosing Google VO 3.1. You could use Sora 2, but VO creates these eight second clips that are perfect for the stacking technique I'm about to show you. Now, the biggest enemy of AI video is character consistency. To fight this, instead of just typing a prompt, we're going to use the reference to video option. This allows us to upload reference images so the AI knows exactly who needs to be in the shot. Before we jump into the video generation, we need our characters. And the cool thing is, Design AI has actually integrated Nano Banana Pro right into the platform now. So let's use that. I'll head over to text to image up here in the model selector. Look, there it is, Nano Banana Pro. They have the older version, but the pro version is brand new. So I'll select that. I can actually generate up to 4K resolution here. So I'm going to choose 4K and keep the aspect ratio at one to one. For the prompt, I'm keeping it dead simple. Spy man in tuxedo looking directly at the camera. Let's generate that. Now let's do the second character. I'll enter spy woman in gown looking directly at the camera. Again, same settings, 4K and a one to one ratio. All right, both images have been generated. And as you can see on the screen, the quality is solid. Now that we have these references ready, we can move on to the reference to video feature. I'll upload both of these references into the reference slots. Next, we need a prompt that drives the action. I'm pasting in this prompt, two spies, a man and a woman in tuxedo and gown, crouching over a glowing bomb, the man points frantically, the woman holds pliers, high tension dialogue. Below that visual description, I'm also pasting the script lines they need to say. I'll hit generate on VO 3.1. Okay, the render is done. Let's play it back. Cut the blue wire. The schematic clearly says blue. That is teal, you idiot. If I cut the blue one, we turn into confetti. Visually, it looks fantastic. The lighting is moody, but watch the faces. The male character creates unnecessary eye contact with the camera, classic AI mistake. And towards the end, when the female character is supposed to be speaking, the man's lips are moving. If I cut the blue one, we turn into confetti. It's that classic ventriloquist effect where the AI gets confused about who is talking. So we need to regenerate the scene and then fix the sync. Here is the pro tip for making longer videos. I'm not just going to generate a random second clip. I'm going to go to the very last frame of this eight second video and take a clean screenshot. Now I'll go back to the AI video tool, but this time I'm selecting the keyframe feature. 
I will upload that screenshot as my starting frame. This tells VO, start exactly where the last clip ended. This saves us credits and ensures our characters don't suddenly change outfits or positions. I'll put in the prompt for the next bit of action and hit generate. I've repeated this process four times, generating a clip, screenshotting the end, and using it to start the next one to build out a full 30 second sequence. I've linked all the prompts I used in the description if you want to try this exact scene. Now let's watch the raw stitched video. Cut the blue wire. The schematic clearly says blue. That is teal, you idiot. If I cut the blue one, we turn into confetti. You always do this. You overthink everything just to spite me. Notice the audio? The voices change between clips. It's jarring. Oh, really? Like when you fixed the dishwasher and flooded the kitchen? Stop bringing up the dishwasher. We have three seconds. Fine. And again, we have the wrong speaker issue. In this clip, the woman is lip syncing to we only have three seconds, but the man should be saying that. It's a mess. This is where most people give up on AI video, but we're gonna fix this using Design AI's lip sync engine. Head over to the lip sync tool on the dashboard. We're going to select upload face video and upload that full 30 second stitched video we just made. The AI is going to analyze the footage. What's really cool here is the detection accuracy. It automatically identifies two distinct faces in the scene. I'll click to select the male character, then the female character, and hit next. This brings us to the editor timeline. You'll see separate tracks for the male and female characters. We need to assign them consistent voices. For the male spy, I'm going to the text-to-speech library and picking James. It's a deep, serious voice. I'll type in his first line. I'll generate the audio and drag it onto the timeline right where he starts moving. Now for the female spy. I'll click on her track, select the Britney voice, and type in her response. I'll generate that and drag it to start right after James finishes speaking. This is crucial. You want to overlap them slightly or have tight cuts to keep that high tension pacing. I'll repeat this for the whole 30 seconds, selecting James for the male lines and Brittany for the female lines. This completely overrides the glitched audio from the original generation and forces the AI to remap the mouth movements to these new crisp audio files. Once the timeline looks good and all the dialogue is in place, I'll hit generate. Now, this is doing some heavy lifting. It's re-rendering the facial geometry for the entire 30 seconds to match the new phonemes. It usually takes about 10 minutes to render a clip. Let's fast forward and see what we got. Okay, we have successfully turned a glitchy mess into a usable scene, but we aren't done yet. To make this cinematic, we need to sell the environment. I took this lip synced video into CapCut. You can use Premiere or DaVinci, it doesn't matter, to add the finishing touches. AI video is 50% visual and 50% audio. I added a ticking clock sound effect to build anxiety. I layered in some cinematic boom sounds and explosion effects for the climax. I also added a mist overlay and some smoke effects to blend the cuts even more. And here is the final result with the visual effects and the sound effects. Cut the blue wire. The schematic clearly says blue. That is teal, you idiot. If I cut the blue one, we turn into confetti. You always do this. You overthink everything just to spite me. Oh, really? Like when you fixed the dishwasher and flooded the kitchen? Stop bringing up the dishwasher. We have three seconds. Fine. I'm cutting the teal. But if we die, I told you so. See? I knew you could do it. We're a power couple. Don't touch me. You owe me a new dress. It's honestly crazy how far this tech has come. By combining the raw power of VO3.1 with the control of Design AI's lip sync tool, you can actually tell stories now. Remember, if you want to try this workflow, the link is in the description, and that thanks2025 code gets you 50% off, which is a steal for these premium models. If you found this workflow helpful, smash that like button, it really helps the channel, and drop a comment if you have questions about the prompting. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.